everyone, it's Jarrett Moore, one of the Enterprise DNA experts. Today's video, we're going to go over one of the newest preview features, I believe that was released in November of last year, which is the anomaly detection. And th what you're looking at now is a recent uh, entry into one of the Enterprise DNA challenges. And on one of these uh, reports that I created, um, you'll definitely see that I, I created some of these uh, anomaly detections using um, the newest feature, uh, one of the newest uh, preview features in the Power BI desktop, the anomaly detection. So this is what it looked like on my challenge entry. And to learn more about this and to see how, well, first let's go and check and see how you would turn this on. If you don't already have this turned on, you would have to go to file. You would have to go to options and settings. Then you would have to go to options. And then once this pops up, we go down here to preview features. And right here, you can see I have it turned on, but you would need to have anomaly detection turned on uh, and then hit okay. Um, just so you know, um, when I'm filming this video, I'm currently using the, the February 2021 uh, update. So that's why if my screen looks a little bit different than yours, I, I definitely have upgraded to the February 2021 version of the Power BI desktop. If I go back to preview features and I click on the anomaly detection over here where it says learn more, this will take you directly to the Microsoft documentation for this preview and I won't go through step by step on on the the things here with anomaly detection but uh, as we scroll down the page here kind of gives you step by step instructions on how to how to use uh, the small um, the I'm not not the small but the uh, anomaly detections but what I want to point out why we're here and I'll inc I'll include this link in the description below is some of the limitations currently with anomaly detection. Now this isn't to de deter you from actually trying to use anomaly detection in your Power BI reports. It's just, it's good to know some of these limitations. The most important here is it's only supported right now for line chart visuals. So you can't add a bar chart and then try to do anomaly detection. It is only supported for line chart visuals. That is the main thing from here. I'll let you read the rest of these um, there are some other limitations that we'll cover here in just a in, in just a few seconds, but this is the ones that Microsoft pointed out. But I wanted to definitely point out to you that it's only supported for line chart visuals um, in its current state. So let's head on back over to Power BI Desktop and get out of this. And with the downtime minutes here, this is with anomaly detection. Um, I also have. One of the uh, one of the uh, the zoom sliders, which was also a recent addition to the Power BI desktop, to help us zoom in with anomaly detection. One of the things that I figured out after doing this right here with the current theme that I have in my report, which is a dark um, background, um, like you, like you see here, is if I go into the anomaly detection here. And you can scroll down here and see where I have, you know, the sensitive sensitivity turned on to 70%, and you can fluctuate this up or down. And, and all this is going to do is just create more, um, more um, anomalies throughout the uh, throughout the uh, the visual that you have on the screen there. Um, you also have the explain by is in this case I'm I'm doing it by um, by the plant location. Um, you can also, you know, I have you know, sort of like a, a semi, almost kind of like a, a raindrop. Um, but you have different shapes that you can choose from if you wanted to choose the different shapes. Um, obviously, you can change the size and the color as well. And um, some other things as you, as you go down here. One of the limitations I see or I've experienced with this is if I go to here and I click on a specific point, and this opens up in the Power BI desktop with the, the, the dark background. You can see up here 
the screen does not look very, um, you can't really tell what's going on in the screen above. Let me try clicking on another one here to see if I can't get a, try to get something to, to pop up here in the bottom. Yeah, so we see plant location is Riverside. If I click the drop down here, also in this visual right here, you can't see, um, there, there, there are two different lines and it's this all has to do with my, my current theme and how I have it set up. Um, hopefully, as we progress forward with the anomaly detection feature in Power BI Desktop, they do give us the, um, the ability uh, in, in the future to actually edit this and, and maybe choose our own colors for this instead of having to use um, what's based on our current theme. That's one of the limitations that, I've, that, I, that I ran into as I was using this new feature for this entry. Um, so what I did was is I created another PBIX file using one of the Microsoft, um, if you go over here to the view tab and the theme, I believe it was this one right here is the, the is one of the, it's called Bloom. It's one of the actual uh, default Power BI themes that you can choose for your report. So this is one that I found that we'll see here that brings back the results that we, um, that we, Obviously, it's, it's more visual, visually appealing to the eye as compared to what we just saw in, in my example in my challenge entry. So if we take a quick look at this report here, let me get out of there real quick. If I click on one of these entries again, hopefully we can get some data points here. Maybe. There we go. This one, the plant location is, is Chatham. This shows the anomaly detection here. And if I hit this drop down, now you can definitely see the different, um, the different colors here. Obviously, it's still not that great. Uh, but at the top here, you can also see the anomaly detections a whole lot better than you could in the, in the previous way that I have this. Um, but what I'm going to do here is I'm going to shrink um, these charts up for right now. And what we're going to do is we're going to click right here, add to report. This will add it to your current report. And then we can make this a little bit larger and you can definitely see, um, the different, um, the, uh, the, the different, uh, the different, the different way. This looks a whole lot uh, more appealing than what, what was on the other screen that I showed you before. So this is, uh, this is uh, one of the themes that I choose. Not saying that you have to choose this theme, but this is definitely a uh, definitely a theme that definitely shows the uh, the the power of what anomaly detection can do for you and your reports in the Power BI um, as you're creating Power BI reports. Now I know what probably some of you are thinking is, man, I wish there was a course or some other content available right now that I could go in. And, and actually learn more about anomaly detection. Well, you're in luck today because recently what I did for the challenge 10 entry that we see right here um, for the enterprise DNA challenge, what I did was is I created a step-by-step -step course on the enterprise DNA portal that goes through basically um, the development of this report from start to finish. Now, this doesn't mean that this is um, developing you know, a report just for a challenge entry. This is developing from start to finish of any Power BI report that you think of creating. I go through a step-by-step -step process on how that I developed this report from start to finish. So if you're interested in this course, what we're gonna do now is hop on over to the web and we'll head over to the Enterprise DNA Forum. The link to this post will be in the description below as well. And this right here is the is the link um, that we can um, that, that the post the original post once this course was released here. Um, there's been a few comments as we go through here, um, but uh, what, what we can do here is is once you're if you're an enterprise DNA uh, member or if not, you may want to become one here pretty soon. But uh, one of the benefits of being an enterprise DNA member is that you have access. Um, through the portal, if I click on the portal portal link here, and we'll scroll down here, and we'll actually see the course name is called Mastering Report Development, from Start to Finish, and then you would click on here, 
And then here is where all of the access to all of the, uh, I have the course resource pack, which includes, you know, all of my Power BI, or my PBIX files, um, visuals, all kinds of different um, good things that are available here in the course. And then obviously, um, one of these videos here that's about 26 minutes long, I go into um, the anomaly detection and the smart narrative functionality in, in pretty big detail. So if you're interested in that, if you're not, or if you're already a member, that's great. If not, you may want to become a member so you get access to this great content. Well, let me head back on over here to the challenge homepage here. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this little preview of Anomaly Detection. And if you're interested in further content regarding Anomaly Detection, make sure you become an Enterprise DNA member if you're already not. That's all for now. Thanks. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the contents covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like, it really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website, plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best, take care.